Hey guys, this is Steve from Skunk Off Tackle. Um, I've had a lot of people request that I go over my home bait tank here. Um, but first of all, if you guys could take the time to like and subscribe. I hate even asking for this, but it makes a huge difference for us. I know it had no cost to you, but it really does benefit the channel a whole lot. So if you could do that, um, that would be much appreciated. And now let me get into the whole setup of this uh, bait tank. So here I have, it's a 550 gallon tank. Probably came from tractor supply or agri supply. Um, it, we got it cut down with a lid here, you can see. And I have it running at about 400 gallons. Um, so there's really not a whole lot to it. Um, so as you can see i just we just recently went and got some fresh bait so it's pretty i mean we got a probably 100 150 in here now maybe um mostly gizzard shad well you can tell i have a few goldfish and a few brim a trout or two that we've used in other places but that you know doesn't really matter we're just going to go through kind of how i have it set up and what I'm using and what I got. Um, so one thing that I do, um, cause I had a lot of trouble with the well water. My pH on my well water was so high. I exclusively run lake water. Uh, I have a couple hundred gallon tanks that we use when we're doing bait trips, bait catching trips. And we'll, you know, we'll probably make a video about those at some time too. Um, but you know just load them up when you're there bring bring it home and fill it up um so the main guts of this thing down there under that bucket right there there's a thousand per gallon hour or maybe 1100 gallon per hour i will i'll post a link to all the um pumps and stuff at the end of the description but there's a pump under there that comes over here and feeds into this it's a pond filter it has bio mechanical filter which if you can see here these filters here are spare filters but there's those those are stacked inside of this bucket here um, there's bio balls in the bottom of the bucket so it has something for the bio media to grow on it also has a uv light so that helps kill algae which i built this fence here to keep most of the sun off the tank which also helps with the algae um, over here i don't actually have it running right now but i have an air pump that plums to four air stones which i'll go back and show you um, i can turn that on but it's really more air than they need for the amount of bait that i'm putting in there so where i get all my aeration from is um so i have you get some aeration just from the water raining down out of that filter and that filter is just a sock filter that i added um that the filter that i showed you over there in the bucket it does a great job but it doesn't do very fine media as far as like clearing water quality up uh that sock filter which i'll actually replace here in a minute and i'll show you what it looks like when it's clean because that one's getting dirty um, but that does a fabulous job of cleaning up the fine stuff um, i also have down in here there's another thousand per gallon hour pump with a danco aerator on it hopefully you can see and maybe you can see how well it's put out Let's see if you can see all the bubbles there but that it creates current as you can see they're all swimming in the same direction it's a source of aeration along with the water raining down and between those two things with this amount of water i mean if i went unless i was trying to keep 500 or way overloaded that's all the aeration you ever need um so this is my setup i don't know if there's anything if you guys have any questions please comment I'll be glad to answer any questions you guys have. I try to respond to every comment we get. 
so if you have any questions let me know i will even uh you know this these baits have only been in here for about 24 hours well the majority of them 24 hours there's a the the two goldfish i've actually had in here for uh, they've been in here for six months or more but they were kind of my guinea pigs or my canaries if you want to put it that way um also something to keep in mind if you're going to keep a tank like this the longer you can keep it running with something in it the better you are even if it's like, it's, like I said, there's a few brim that I caught out of a par farm pond. Those being in here and creating their ammonia is what feeds the biofilter. And that keeps the bio set up so when you add more, it can, it's, it's already established enough that it can ramp up when you, when you load it down with bait. So guys, I think that's uh, it. Like I said, I will, real quick, I'm going to, I'll actually set the camera up and do this real quick so you can see. But I'm going to I'll change that sock filter real quick so you can see what it looks like with a fresh filter on it. And once I take this off, I'm able to reuse this filter by rinsing it out. So after I swap this, which I won't I will not keep have that on camera, I'll go rinse this out. As long as you rinse it out before it dries, you can continue using it for a long time. So I made this set up here. Goes on the end of that pipe. That's what kind of holds it level. So put it in like this. Alright, like the shears, nothing special. Yeah. Hook it back to that pipe. Now, once this water gets cleared from this load of bait that I put in here, and I don't know, three or four days, couple days, however long it takes, once that filter stops getting just disgusting every time I you know I, I change it, I, well. I tried it about every 12 hours when I first put it on there. I rotate it 180 degrees because right, you can tell now it's only really filtering the bottom because that's where the water's coming out of. So I'll come back out here in about 12 hours and I'll turn it 180 degrees so it's coming through the other side. After two or three days of that, it seems to, uh, it clears up and it stops getting dirty. And then I just take it off and I just let the water spray into the tank. So guys, I hope this was informative. Like I said, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I respond to all the comments. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Hey guys, so like I said, I didn't do this on camera, but all I did was take this sock. This is the one I just took off of there that you guys saw me do. I took it out to the driveway, turned it inside out, and sprayed that with a water hose before it dried. I mean, it's... It's not brand new, but it's pretty close to it. You get a lot of use out of these things as long as you clean them before they dry up. Um, I use them on my boat tanks now. I have switched all my boat tanks to these socks. Um, they're great. I personally, I know everybody has their own opinions and there'll be people that will disagree with me and that's fine. But I think I don't think you can do any better than these socks on a boat tank. Especially if you have a situation where you have a wash down pump on the boat, you can take them off. Yeah, I usually try to keep at least two sets, depending on what size tank I'm using. Uh, like my buddy's Extreme Bay tank, it has four socks, it has three filters, and then a skimmer sock. So we always keep eight. So we have four. When, we, when they get started getting stopped off, up, we have four. We pull off, we tie it swap the four and before the ones we take off dry we turn them inside out hose them off on the back of the boat and then just sit them in the live well and let them dry and then we're ready for the next next time we need a filter tank so 
Hope this guy's help, help you guys out. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.